four different examples on how to use the sum product here in Excel. The sum product function can works in many different degrees of complexity, and it can also replace the sum if function. And I'm going to show you here with those four different practical examples on how can you use the sum product function here in Excel to help you solve radical problems. So look at the last example that we're going to do here with a more larger degree of complexity. I need to calculate the total sold for each one of the months. But the problem is I have, of course, the month to use as criteria and I have the total. But for this last example, I can't use the total column. I need to use the quantity and the unit price to have that way the total price and then to add up all those values that match with a criteria. The sum if function can't do it for me, but the sum product can. So basically the sum product function, even though you don't have all the columns in the data set that you need, such as the total sold, the sum product can still help you because it can generate columns even though they don't exist. So let's take a look here in a practical way. How can we use the sum product in Excel with four different practical examples and with different levels of complexity. Let's go. First, I think it's very important to try to understand the function that we're going to use here. And the sum product function is basically using two words. The first one is the sum, that is addition or added up values. And the second word that we have is the product. And product stands for multiplication, a number times another number. But when we use sum product function, it means basically that we are adding up multiplications. Simple as that. So if I first, this first example that I have here is the easiest one. And I have informations such as the date, the month, the quantity, and the unit price. Let's say I have the unit price. And what about the total price? Yeah, exactly. There isn't a total price here. But I know to calculate the total price, it's very easy because I just need to take the unit price and multiply it to the quantity. Okay, so quantity times the unit price is gonna give me the total price. But instead of add here a new column, I can use, let's say, the sum product to help me with this task. So it's gonna multiply the first row and then it's gonna save the result. And then the result is gonna be added up with the result of the multiplication of the second row. And now I'm gonna have the addition of those first two rows and then it's going to continue to do the same math okay add up multiplications equal sign some product here let me double click one two uh, the first array that i need to select is the first range that i'm going to use in my multiplication i can select either the quantity or the unit price it doesn't matter i'm going to start with the values that make up the quantity i can select everything to the end of the spreadsheet like this and now i'm going to press here comma my second array is going to be the unit price i can select here everything to the end of the spreadsheet and yeah that's it now if i close parentheses here and press enter i'm going to have the total sold eighty eight thousand dollars and it's correct i can check the let's say veracity of the this result using here a new column just to check if this result is correct let's say total sold or total price equal sign the quantity times the unit price enter i'm gonna have here a result a multiplication let me double click in the down right corner of the cell one two to make sure all the rows contain the same function and now in any cell right here i'm gonna have equal sign a sum function to add up all those values and to check if my sum product is correct double click here one two and then i can go here and click over the letter e to select the entire column, close parentheses, and then enter. As you guys can see, we basically have the same result. So yeah, it's correct. The sum product can help us with a situation like this, where you need to have an addition of multiplications. Let me undo the actions and okay. Now we can move on to the second example, where we have something a little bit different. Basically, I have the same data set, but with a different problem. Of course, it's a similar data set because here I have the quantity and the total. Okay, so there is no unit price here, but just the total price. Okay, the total sold. Let's say now I want to use a criteria to have a sum or 
an addition of multiplications. I want to have the total sold, not just sum this entire column, but just sum the values that match with my criteria. That is the item 14. I have here, let's say item 14 right here, and again right here, and here again. I want to add up all those values that match with my criteria. Of course, I can use here the sum if function to help me. The equal sign sum if function can do the same thing basically. But as we saw before, the sum product function can basically create a column that uh, doesn't exist in the spreadsheet and add up all those values. The same thing that we did before. So the sum product can help us in a higher degree of complexity. Equal sign sum product. Want you to select. Basically, I need to have an addition of all the values here in the total column that match with my criteria, that is the item. So let's say as my first array or my first range, I'm going to use as range the values that I have as criteria, the column that I'm going to use as criteria, that is my item column. Here I have the conditions that I'm going to use. So I'm going to select everything to the end of the spreadsheet like this. Okay. Now I want to check if those values are equal to my criteria, that is the item 14. Something very important here. We're going to need to use all those values that we typed here in between parentheses again. So open parentheses here and then close parentheses. Now I want to multiply this range that I did here with the range that I want to add up the values. That is the, this total column right here where I have the values that I'm going to add up if the criteria uh, is met. And again here, this range I need to input in between parentheses. Okay, I'm going to close parentheses again. And that's it. I can press enter. And here is the total sold for the item 14. If I change this item to, let's say, item 12, I'm going to have a different result. And if I can, I can change again, 37, and item 10, 6,000, and on and on. So basically, this is how we can use the sum product to add up the values using a criteria. In the next example here, we're going to see why it's very important to use the sum product over the sum if function in some situations. OK, but let's first do here the, the, total, the, the total quantity using the same logic as before. I want to add up all the quantities if my criteria is met. So equal sign sum product. My first range is going to be where I have the items because the items are my condition. OK, like this. And then I want to check if those values are equal to my criteria. And I'm going to put everything in between parentheses. And then I'm going to multiply it with open parentheses, the quantity values now, all those values to the end. OK, now we can close parentheses and close parentheses again. Enter. OK, so this is the total quantity, not for all the values, but just for the item 10. I can change the item 14 and uh, see, as you guys can see, the, the, the values is going to be automatically updated for me. Now, the last uh, two examples that I have here is using, again, the sum product. But this time, we're going to clearly see the difference between the sum product function and the sum if function. Remember that we did here in the, in the first example where we need to have the total sold, but without use a total sold column or a total price column. Basically, the sum product create in their own the total sold or the total price column and add up all the values, even though we didn't have here a total price column. We're going to use the same logic here, uh, but we need, we're going to append to it a criteria. So let's say first, in the first method here, I want to have the total sold for each one of the months. So we're going to use basically a criteria, January, February, March, April, and on and on. This is spreadsheet. Uh, this data set is basically the same as before. We're going to first start with the easiest way as possible using as criteria the month and then add up all the values that I have here in the column E. OK, simple as that. And then we can move on and do something a little bit more complex. I'm going to still need to have the total sold for each one of the months. But this time, I'm not going to use the total sold column. 
So we're going to need to use the quantity multiplied by the unit price. So here again, we're going to have a higher level of complexity. As the first method, equal sign, sum product. My first array that I'm going to use is the array where I have the criteria. That is the array of the months or the range, the column of the months. And I want you to check if those values are equal to my first criteria right here. It's very important, as we saw before, to use here parentheses, open and close. And then I want to multiply those values, if it's true, with open parentheses, my total range, that is this one right here, to have the total sold for each one of the months. I can close parentheses here, close again, and enter. If I click, hold, and drag down, maybe I have some issues because, as you guys can see, uh, the range are moving down. Why is that? Because Whenever I click, hold, and drag down a function, as you can see, all the selections, all the range is going to be basically it's going to follow along with this drag down. And it applies to all the range. So even though I select here the correct range to use as my criteria, when I click, hold, and drag down a function, the range is going to be moving to down. Okay, so we need to do something different here that is select the range that we don't need to move move down those ranges and then select everything and then press f4 key to lock those references f4 key to append the dollar sign and then again here to the second range f4 key and then enter now you can click hold and drag down and yeah that's it as the total as this total that i have here i can use equal sign the sum function to basically add up everything like this enter okay so this is the total sold now, the second method, we have here uh, more complexity because we can't use now the total column. So how can we, we, you have, let's say, the total sold for each one of the months without using the total sold column or the total price column? How can we do it? So let's start here. We call sign some product. As the first array, I'm going to use the criteria as we learned it before. Okay. And I need to check if this range or those values are equal to my criteria. And again, open and close parentheses like this. And as we saw before, select the range and press F4 key. Now here, in just after the, the, clo the closed parentheses, I can use the asterisk to multiply this range to the quantity, okay? So I can select here everything in the quantity like this okay and also i want to multiply with the unit price range because as we didn't have here now as we don't have here now the total column we basically need to create this column within the function so multiply the quantity by the unit price and then we're gonna have the total price and very important important here is to use the open to open and close parentheses for all the ranges that we have open close and here too open and close and also use the f4 key for all the range to lock the reference and just here in the ending of the function close parentheses okay and then enter here i have basically the same result as before so that way we can see that it's perfectly correct click hold and drag down yeah that's it and also i can do here again equal sign some function to compare those values and to see if all the results are correct enter and yeah okay so basically we have the same result as before now as i said before the sum product function can be used in the place of the sum function or in other words there's some things that the sum function can't help you like this situation that we have here in this last example try to use the sum if function to have the total sold for each one of the months but we thought to use this total column here. How the sum if function is going to multiply the quantity by the unit price to have the total price and then to add up the values that match with a criteria. The sum if function can't do it. So this is why it's very important to use the sum product here in Excel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video with one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five different examples. So I hope this video can help you out. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.